Welcome to Moto Rambler. Good morning, YouTube. Today is Monday, June 22nd, 7 a.m. And it is 64 degrees. And as you can see, a little bit foggy. I am on my way to work, even a little early, so I can just take a nice leisurely ride to the office. Just want to say hello, practice with the cameras again. And I hope everyone is doing very well today. Is that a McKaylee 7 stop? everyone had an excellent Father's Day. I had a beautiful day here, weather-wise. Stayed home, had a little cookout, hung around the pool, and then the thunderstorms came, drove us inside, but that was all right. It was a pretty neat storm. Matter of fact, if you look at the link, up here. I will put a short little video of some of the lightning. I enjoy watching a good lightning storm. So I decided to bring out the Hero 7 and try to record some of it and I caught a few streaks of lightning. But all in all it was a great day and I hope everyone had a wonderful Father's Day. And I will check back with everybody on my way home. Talk to you now. Well, that was quick. I'm hoping that y'all had a great time while I was away. I am on the Blue Ridge Parkway yet again. I was going to go a different way today, but it looks like there is something happened on the parkway. I saw an ambulance and a fire truck and a bunch of forest rangers and uh, somebody coming the other direction said that you need to turn around. So, not sure what happened, but instead of going south on the parkway like I planned, I am now going north, which is fine. Still a great road no matter what. Hoping to go up in elevation. I am toasty right now, riding. And as you can see, I got brand new pavement. Lucky this last week, I've had some great pavement here and there. Well, I'm behind a couple of cars, 
not very high in elevation yet, so I think I'll shut down the cameras. I just wanted to check in and say hey to everybody. And I'm going to continue on riding. It is quarter of one. I have no idea what time I'm going to get home, but hopefully late. So I'm going to shut off the cameras one by one. This one I have to press twice. All off. And now I'll shut off the GoPro. I will talk to you later. Welcome back, folks. I am still traveling north on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I mentioned earlier, may or may not make it to video, but when I left work, I was going to go south on the parkway and just take a cruise. I haven't been south in a while, and I thought it might be nice to go down there and see some places that I haven't been in, you know, maybe since last fall even. But ran into a traffic issue, there was an, uh, an ambulance, a fire truck, forest rangers, and I actually had a person coming the other way to tell me you better turn around. So I did. I turned around near Asheville and went north. I haven't done a lot of recording because I recently published some videos from early in the fall before I got hurt where I was on this gold wing and I went north up to Raybeard Mountain Overlook. That's why I didn't want to do a whole lot of reporting on the same section, although it is a nice part of the road. But anyway, I've gone past that. I'm up into the northern part of the parkway from Asheville that I don't get to ride on too terribly often. Uh, I, just, I just don't come up here as much just because it is you know, so much further away. But, oh, it looks like a big dip. As I'm coming north, and I'm cruising along, I thought, I'm going to see about going up to the Linco Viaduct, which I've been by a couple of times now, and it's awesome. I mean, it, the way the engineers built this thing and put it together, it's just incredible. And I thought, well, I think I'm going to try it. The problem is, I don't know how far north I have to go to get there. I do not have my Blue Ridge map, my Blue Ridge Parkway map with me. I could Google it, but I'm not so sure I uh, have enough service to even be able to try that. So, what's the fun in that anyway? I'm just going to ride, ride until I feel like I better turn around and hope I get to the Linfo Viaduct before that happens. I will absolutely 100% film as much of the viaduct as I possibly can because it is it is just really really cool and uh, I pass the sign I am in the Pisgah National Forest now which is pretty cool and I'm on the parkway part of it I've been in the Pisgah National Forest many many times of course it's very close to home but I'm just going to cruise along here and Try to get to the viaduct, see how far away it truly is. Ooh, that was a big hole. But anyway, I just wanted to check in, let you know that's the plan. Hopefully I will be back when I get to the viaduct. Good talking to y'all. See ya. Hey folks. I'm going to end this video right here because it was just dragging on way too long. I want to thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for part two to see if I actually make it all the way to the Linco Viaduct. Again, thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe, stay happy.